Good morning, y'all. Well, at least it's good morning for me. Um, this is just me, me just going over the test to make sure that you understand the questions. Um, I'm going to be reading them to you and the answers. So for the first page, questions one, two, three, and four, you're just finding the area of each of the shapes below. Um, the formulas are in yesterday's study guide on how to find the area. So if you don't remember and you don't have the sheet that we did yesterday, then just go back to yesterday's agenda, click on the study guide, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, number one, for that parallelogram, the base is 14 yards and the height is 6 yards. So find the area. And then if you're in my class, you're going to put the answer right there. If you're at home, you're going to email me back and reply to the email that I sent you. For number two, uh, the, uh, this is a 10, this is an 8, this is a 5. You're going to find the area, and the answers are A, 50 square feet, B, 400 square feet, C is 25 square feet, D is 40 square feet. So which letter is the correct answer? You can just put the letter A, B, C, or D right there. For number 3, the base is 20, the height is 6. Is the area A, 120, B, 30, C, 60, D, 15.8? Number four, the base is 4.5 inches, the height is 8 inches. And you just need to tell me the area, put it right here. Number five goes back to number four. And whatever answer you get, which one of these would you put at the end right here? Would it be inches? A, B, inches to the second power, square inches, or C, inches to the third power. Which one of those would be appropriate? Only one of them is correct. Number six, find the area of the shape below. Now, number six is a trapezoid. The top is seven, the bottom is ten, the height is six. If you forget how to find the area of that, look at yesterday's practice test and you'll see it. Number seven, I kind of messed up yesterday. I'm sorry about that. So let me read this out loud. This is not a trapezoid, and I messed this one up yesterday. I'm sorry. Split this polygon into two shapes along these dotted lines. Find the area of each shape and then add them together. The answer will be one of these below. So what is the answer? A, 217. B, 470, C, 756, or D, 285. Number eight, for this irregular polygon, what's the area? Just for the record, this is an eight, that's a five, that's a three, and that's a four. So you need to find the area of that. Number nine, just solve for x, get x by itself. The equation is x plus three equals 10. Number 10. Now, number 10 through 13, the question's the same. The figure below is a net of what shape? A, a triangular prism. B, a rectangular pyramid. C, a cube. D, a sword. Number 11, that figure, what is that as a net? A, a machine gun. B, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just joking. That's really mean. <laughs> B, a cube. C, a cylinder. D, a rectangular prism. Number 12, is that shape A, a cone? B, a triangular prism. C, a cylinder. D, a cube. Number 13, is that shape A, a cylinder? If you fold it up, you're going to get a cylinder. B, a moose. C, definitely a sword. D, a square pyramid. Now for number 14. This number is a 5. This is a 6. This is a 6. That's an 8. That's a 9. And you need to find the total surface area. Class, this is not an easy one. Good luck with that. I hope you remember what we did yesterday. And and you might not be able to see it. That five, this is the height of that triangle. 
So I'll say that the height of this triangle is 5, the base is 8. So find the square feet. 15, you're going to find this, I'm sorry, yeah, you can find the surface area. Number 15, you find the surface area of that as well. 16, find the volume, and I did see something that I thought I was going to prevent, and I didn't, and I'm sorry. These, for the record, all of these should be to the third power. That doesn't change what the answer is, but I do acknowledge that that should not be to the second. It should be to the third power. I'm sorry about that. This is a 5. This is a 6. That's 1.3. So what's the volume? If you forget how to find out, look at yesterday's practice test. And then number 17 is the same question. That's a 5, 7, and 18. Now number 18 has three parts. You have to do part A. Part A is graphing these four points on the grid. Okay? So I'll read it. Jake drew a model on grid paper of a kite that he wants to make. His drawing has coordinates 3, 7, 5, 10, 9, 7, and 5, 4. If you forget about the grid, just remember, here's an example, just two random numbers. The first number is always, you start here, it's always how many you go across. So since that's a 3, I would go 1, 2, 3. And I just, oh crap, <laughs> I need to do a different number because I just now see that that's one of these. And I don't want to give you that answer. So let me do 3, comma, 3, comma 4, okay? So I would go 3 to the right. 1, 2, 3. And then the next number is 4. That's how many. So 3 is, the first number is how many across. Second number, since it's positive, is how many up. 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is the point right here. So in case you forget, that's... 1, 2, 3 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4 up. This point right here is this coordinate. That's how you do coordinates. First number, how many to the left or right? Second number, how many up or down? And since they're both positives for all of these, you're going to be going to the right, and then up, and you're always starting from the origin right here. Now the coordinates are 3, 7, 5, 10, 9, 7, and 5, 4. Everybody has to do this, make the four points. Make a kite, connect the dots. Oh, crap. People at home can't do that. So if you're at home, I'm going to give you a free one on that one, okay? B. This is bonus. You don't have to do it. But B is find the area of whatever this kite is. And then C is just answering this question which is if each grid, if each grid, which is each square on this grid, represents 2.5 inches, what's the actual area of the kite? Thank you guys, hope that was helpful.